Right guys, Mark Crossford here, hitting Mizuno MP T5 wedges. I've got the 52, 56 and 60 in my hands here. Let's look at what MP T5 wedges could do for your short game. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, um, Mizuno MPD5 wedges, not a massive change from the predecessor. I think we're getting 25 bounce and lo uh, loft combinations on these, so plenty of variability in lofts and bounce combinations to help suit your game and your loft patterns correctly. That's something that's really important with any wedge that you're fitting them into your set. Um, they're very classic looking, we're featuring the grain flow forward, so you're going to get that normal kind of soft very uh, precise forged feeling that you'll get from most Mizuno irons. Um, the grooves are made, Mizuno is saying, specific to the lofted club to try and maximise spin, so different grooves for the lower lofted to the higher lofted, so for partial shots to full shots, I think Mizuno are trying to say with that one. One thing I don't like about them actually um, is the loft and bounce is printed here and nothing down on the top. Um, or on the bottom of the club. So when they sit in your bag, right, it's a bit annoying having to hunt through to find them. That's one thing I don't quite like. You get this groove that we got in the predecessor as well. I like the way the top part of the club is not super thin. There's a little bit of thickness to it for when you are catching the ball near the top of the face, which does happen out of opening the club up and rough and those kind of things. I'm actually using the 52 and the 56 in my bag at the minute, really liking them. And I really like the kind of square a leading edge to the neck. They're not so rounded down at the base at the front there, which I actually really, really like when I'm playing them. It makes me really feel where I'm trying to twist the club to left or right and add loft and take loft off, those kind of things. Let's give them a hit and see, uh, see exactly what they feel like. Right, we're gonna start with the 52. This one's in my bag. You'll see I've got my game golf thing stuck in the top here. Um, it's a lovely small little head. Uh, it kind of fits in, it blades in, or kind of bleeds in, I should say, more with my other Mizuno irons that I'm using, actually, which I really like. So I'm not going, because I'm not using as chunky anymore, so this one kind of is a nice step down. Get a little bit of relief on the sole on all of these, on the heel and the toe. Um, but it's like I said, I like the straightness of that leading edge with these clubs. Um, when you're hitting them, the feel is everything you would imagine with a Mizuno grain flow forge club, it feels soft, it feels responsive, it feels kind of not too springy. And I know that's all built around sound, which I say a lot in my videos, but it gives me that confidence to know that it's gonna go the distance I hit it. The problem is at the moment, I'm finding it hard to hit it the right distance. <laughs> me, not the club. Uh, let's give another hit. And it's really the shape that I'm buying into on these. Um, it's how it blends in with my set, it's how the loft fits in with my set, and then I want the shape not to be too stand out, certainly say in my 52. Uh, we'll go up to the 60, now I don't use the 60, I actually have a much more kind of um, wilder looking 60, but when it comes to that real specialised club, it is about picking what you like the look of to fit into your imagination. Now I do like the look of this, I did actually put this in my bag to start until I just tried another one, but I like the leading edge of it a lot. Again, I like the way it's not too rounded at the front. It's just a classic looking, um, you know, bladed uh, kind of players, if you like, uh, lob wedge. And you get that same feel that you would imagine. I feel like I can pitch with it. I feel like I can chip with it. I could quite easily see myself going back to this kind of club um, as soon as I've kind of fallen out of love with the other one, if that ever happens. Because um, it is just such a classic, good looking iron or, or lob wedge. When it comes to wedges, guys, it really is. I mean, I'm not presenting any numbers because there is no real point. Uh, faces, grooves are all completely um, really tight with their tolerances and what they can do um, with how the limits they can push spin and what have you because that's something that along with everything that R&A are really high, uh, trying to control you know really heighten the control it's about shape it's about loft it's about feel and they can be interpreted so much more personally so make sure you have the confidence to work that into your personal feel don't be afraid to pick a wedge that you just simply like the look of the sound of the feel of MPT5 Mizuno wedges, I'm liking them, I'm using two of them. 
Um, I think for anyone looking for that classic wedge, it's going to tick nearly every box. I just wish they would put, I might get them, I might get stamped, because you can't get them stamped actually. Anyone wants to pimp their wedge, you can stamp them up or order them stamped. I'm not sure if it's an extra cost. Check with the people you buy your clubs off. But I would suggest getting uh, the loft stamped on the bottom, because that does annoy me that you can't see it when it's sat in your back. Thanks for watching. Post comments down below, as always. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching. Post comments as always and see you soon.